We those hot text message exchanges, sextants from my husband and I. You don't need any prophet to tell you that tonight is gonna be a hot, steamy night. <laughs> if you are new to this channel, welcome to Relationship and Health Matters with Dudu Shewa. My name is Dr. Blessing Ekundayo. I'm a mental health practitioner and also a relationship educator. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe, press that button right now so you don't miss any juicy, juicy, juicy episode. All right, so I've got something juicy for you today again. Yes, today's topic is six reasons why you hate sex. <sighs> Crazy topic, right? But it's very, very important. Six reasons why you hate sex. And so what I've chosen to do with this topic is to divide it into two. So it's going to be a part one and a part two. This is part one. So please ensure that you watch out for the part two and you watch it also because you are going to love it. Right. It's important for me to let you know that I'm going to be focusing on women in this episode. Okay? So, why do you hate sex as a woman? See, sex is beautiful. Sex is lovely. And I enjoy having sex with my husband. Okay? He was created by God. But I didn't get to this point overnight. I also had lots of struggles with sex when I got married. Because I got married as a virgin. It was hard. <laughs> Some of you that got married as virgins will know what I mean. Anyways, I'm going to be sharing with you six reasons why you hate sex. Number one is that there is a wrong mindset. Hmm. What do I mean by a wrong mindset? See, some of us, especially those of us women that have come from very, very spiritual homes, you know, those concentrated spiritual homes where you hear it in your ears right from when you were a baby. <laughs> that sex is bad, sex is dirty, sex is this, sex is that. <laughs> and so when you want to, when you ever think about sex, it's like, ha, this is an abominable act. <laughs> You'd never want to have anything to do with it. And so we have grown up and gotten entered into marriage with that mindset that sex is a bad thing. Sex is a dirty thing. It's only for carnally minded people. <laughs> if you want to go to heaven and get spiritually minded, you will not think about sex. <laughs> but premarital sex, okay, is what God frowns at. Sex is actually a beautiful thing. It is not dirty. Sex is beautiful. It's lovely. It is godly. And it's one of the major tools that you can do you can use with your spouse to draw intimacy, the highest form of intimacy between you and your spouse. So sex is beautiful. It is not dirty. It is not something that you should frown at as a married couple. So if you're a woman listening to me today and you still have that wrong mindset that sex is dirty and you tell your husband, hmm, you, me, I'm not ready to go to hell. No, me, I'm, I'm spiritually minded. No, 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 sex is not for me. Hmm. You need to change that mindset. You need to reorientate yourself. You need to renew your mind. Yes, because it's actually a beautiful thing. Sex was made for your enjoyment. And if you're not enjoying sex now, when do you want to enjoy it? Is it when you are 50, 60, 70? No, there is no sex in heaven. So please enjoy it while you're on earth. And some of the things that you can do to begin to change that mindset is to educate yourself. I had to go for courses to actually help me to get better, to understanding myself and to also ensure that I enjoy this thing called sex because it is beautiful. Get knowledge, get understanding because Bible says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. Don't perish when it comes to the issue of sex. It's made for your sexual pleasure and for your enjoyment. <laughs> so that's number one. Number two, another reason why you hate sex is because you are stressed. Oh my goodness, I cannot overemphasize this. This is a very, very important point. Many married women are stressed. They are fatigued. They are tired. And it's not surprising because it comes with a lot of responsibilities. I mean, you have to look after your children, look after yourself, care for your husband do the cooking the house chores and if you are still you know if you're a career woman you know your career some of you are even studying at the same time it is hard 
work, cleaning the house, coupled with everything else that you want to do to become the woman that God has destined you to be. And so many of us are going to stress to the point that, you know, if your husband ever touches you or tries to, you know, initiate things that sound like sex, you're like, oh, please, 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 I don't have time for that because sex is not even on your list, okay? It's not like of being the bottom thing on your list. It's not on your list at all. And so you don't want to hear the sound of it at all for whatever reason. It irritates you, it nauseates you, you don't want to be involved in it. And so you hate it. But can I tell you something? I've been there feeling very stressed, especially when you even have a newborn. It's hard work. You may hate the sound of it, but there are things that you can do to begin to adjust your time, your routine. Maybe there are some things that you can actually cut down on. Some of us have routines that we have to clean this, do this, do this, do this cooking, do this cleaning every single day. Are those things actually important? Do you have to actually do it? Can't they wait? Can't, can, you, can you allocate somebody else to probably help you do the cooking sometimes and you pay the person? Or do the cleaning sometimes and you pay the person? You know, what can your husband help you? It's a conversation that both of you can have. Sweet, sweetheart, I want to be there for you at night because I know that I, you have this need that I need to meet. But can you help me with this? Maybe we can divide this and so that you can put the kids to sleep, help me with the adjust, help me with the cooking. And both of you can reach an agreement, you know, and reach a form of compromise. And guess what? You may find out that, you know, your husband is ready to actually help you. Some of us find it difficult to actually ask for help. Women, wives, ask for help. You need the help. Don't assume that the man is going to know you need the help ask for help so when we are under stress you know that could make us actually hate sex sometimes you may actually you may need to go take a leave take a leave from work take a break you know and actually you know enjoy yourself relax all the things that you have in your mind you know get rid of them take the kids out put them up in a nanny or your grandparents or someone you know and then spend time with those people and you spend time with your husband Sex is made for your enjoyment. Enjoy it. You may need to go on vacation. Vacation sex is beautiful, by the way. Some of the memories my husband and I share about hot, powerful moments of sex are during our vacation. So sometimes we need to take a vacation, you know, and just get to release the stress, okay? But one point I need to tell you also is that sex is actually like an anti-stress. <laughs> Yes, it helps also relieve the stress. So enjoy it with your spouse. It is beautiful. Okay, number three. The third reason why some people hate sex passionately is because of some of the sexual traumas that they've experienced. So sexual traumatic experiences, right? Like sexual abuse, rape, sexual assault. And so when your husband calls you or when your husband tries to initiate sex or he's having sex with you on the bed, making love to you, you have flashbacks of the experiences. You are re-traumatized. You have lots of traumatic experiences about what has happened in your past. You may be feeling reviolated said you know feeling awful feeling really really terrible about the whole act and you have not yet healed from it and so that is in the way that is in the way you know you don't want to have anything to do with it my counsel to you is to actually seek help you need some counseling you need therapy something someone to help you go through that journey of healing you could also let your spouse know if that has not been shared before you know if you feel comfortable to let your spouse know this is the reason why you know i actually hate this act and both of you can work together because that's what marriage is about it's about working together on that journey and being one while you work at it so enjoy sex right and get the therapy that you need to be able to get rid and push this experience or this horrible experience that you've had in the past behind you. I hope this has been really helpful. Sex is beautiful. And this is the part one of my six reasons why you hate sex. All right. If you've been blessed or if you've been inspired, if you've enjoyed it, if you found it really educative, please let me know in the comment section. Until I see you again, my name is Blessing Mekundayo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.